Okay, I promised I would show you how to get some nice little gardens going here. And this can be done indoors or outdoors. And I'm doing both. Get a lot of them started indoors. So I have some tennis ball lettuce there and some oregano uh, and some mint. That's what that is, sorry. <laughs> Beets, marigolds. Uh, there's uh, some squash, sort of a Hubbard, or not a Hubbard, but a Danish type of a squash. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm uh, transplanting some of these. These are Cherokee purple tomatoes. Uh, see, they're small. I planted the seeds in that. Now I'll transfer those over to here. So they'll be ready to plant in the garden in about a month or so, maybe, or less. <laughs> And anyway, I start with this coconut fiber right here. That's what I'm using for my growing medium. It's completely neutral. It has nothing but that, basically, in it. It's all organic. Um, and it, because it is all organic and has no nutrients, it has no force hummus and uh, a lot of other products. And one of the reasons is because if it has any manure or anything like that, in there you just don't know the real origin unless you know the like where you the people that's actually processing the potting soil for you but I, I prefer this I have to mix it with water fluff it up and that's what all this is here and in that little pot right there start with this right here I'm using the cloth pots or you can use this type which is a, a plastic typical pot that's a, about a three gallon one there I think that should actually be out of that. It's kind of getting tight. And, I, and and by the time after I plant the plants, you know, here in another month, like, see, that's, I'm going to do radishes and beets in there. You can combine them any way you want. I have uh, corn started. I have all kinds of things started. Onions and radishes and all kinds of stuff like that. And there's some potatoes that I started a while back. And they're already sprouting up. They've just been growing outside. Um... And then I, some of the products that I mix with this uh, cocoa fiber, because it has none of that uh, forest hummus or anything with mycorrhiza, you need to add that to the soil uh, to condition the roots. I could give you a long tale on why, but anyway, you need it. It's an all fertilizer. All plants need mycorrhiza to grow. And so anyway, some of these are um, different types of fertilizers like this and I'm using all organic natural fertilizers and you can use that mixed with the cocoa fiber to add nutrients and then you also have like if you prefer the Alaska or there's a lot of brands there's um let's see what's this one I have uh, gardener bloom natural and organic and then for bulbs and flowers I have some, another type of organic just depends on you what you want some's powder some is uh, pellets and some is liquid here's a liquid one and I don't think this one has any um, mycorrhiza in it but like this one and then the that one over there that one does have it so you don't have to add that in addition usually if you use um, uh, a liquid you may have to add some mycorrhiza and right here is some micro food this is what I use to start my plants with. And it's just uh, basically kelp. Fastest growing plant on the planet. So it just kind of depends on what you want. And then like on these little ones, I'm transplanting into these. And then I'll eventually go back up to the gallons, which is these. And here's some I just did. After I um, transplant these, separate them, they have a little bit of shock, so I take uh, a mixture of this right here. Boop, 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 boop. Mix it down. People used to use vitamin B, uh, but this is what, uh, uh, is basically the same thing. This is a plant, sh uh, transplant shock. Enables the plant to grow, to absorb its food. So maybe that'll help you a little bit. A little bit of a dirty bird uh, instruction on growing, I suppose. 
if I said it clear enough. I don't know. I guess you could always rewind it. There's also a Pura Vita Grow. Sorry, Pura Vita. Failed to mention your brand. Made in Canada. But anyway, peace, brothers and sisters.